Okay, so three months ago I shared a video about this brand new pen tablet bundle I've been sent from Sense Labs. And it's had great views and a lot of comments. Now from the comments, a lot of people agreed with the issues I'd had using a Wacom tablet in the past, and of course there were some that didn't agree. In fact, some, some were very mean. But after three months of using it, am I still happy? Is it still? The Wacom Killer. Now just to set things straight, although I wasn't asked or paid to do that first video, Sense Labs did send me the pen tablet bundle which I didn't need to send back. So making sure that I stick to YouTube's terms and conditions, that does make it fall under paid promotion which is why you'd have seen the notice at the start of the video in the top left hand corner. But what about the pen tablet? The whole package is working really well, but let's answer some of the questions that came up. Using the pen on the tablet feels great. It feels connected to the surface of the tablet and it moves freely and the surface is standing up to being used a lot really well. There doesn't appear to be any lag from me moving the pen to the movement on the screen. Now, although this is a wireless pen tablet, you don't have to use it that way. Some folks said they didn't want to keep charging it. Well, you don't have to. You can just plug it in with a provided cable like I do and leave it there. To use it wirelessly, you do need to have the dongle plugged in for the Bluetooth, which, as I said in the first video, is Bluetooth 5, which is peer-to-peer, -peer, unlike Wacom at the time of recording this using Bluetooth 4 point something, which isn't peer-to-peer, -peer, so can be affected by nearby Bluetooth devices. Now there's a lot of fine tuning and customization you can do to both the tablet and the pen in the Sense Labs driver. So for example, here I can assign functions to each of the buttons and the eraser. I can also use this slider here to control how hard or soft I need to press down when using the pen to change how the pen reacts. I can set the pen to soft, so when I then click on advanced settings and try it out in this section on the right, just a slight amount of pressure gives me something like this. But if I set the pressure to heavy, then when I go to advanced settings and use the pen, just a small amount of pressure gives a very thin line, but the harder I press down, the thicker the line becomes. I can fine tune that even further by manually adjusting this curve. So that's pretty cool. I can make the same adjustments to the eraser at the top of the pen. So with pressure sensitivity in the middle, when I use it to erase this area here, this is the result. If I set it to soft and then use the eraser, you can see that just a slight amount of pressure is very effective. But if I set it to heavy and press lightly, it erases like this. But the harder I press, the more effective the eraser. I can also control the amount of the pen tilt to give even more control. Oh, and I'm getting very little, if any, wearing down the pen nib despite using it every day. So yeah, lots of options available so that you can get the pens to work and behave how you want them to. Now, some people asked about barrel rotation like you can with the Wacom Art Pen. Well, neither the Sense Labs three button pen or the thin pen have that. Actually, Wacom no longer sell the art pen and it's not supported on their newer devices. But as for Sense Labs releasing one, I guess, watch this space. Now, in the first video, this made some people get really defensive, but to be honest with you, I still stick with what I originally said. By default, the Sense Labs tablet is set to 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And no matter what you say, the vast majority of the displays currently out there are 16 by 9 ratio. Now, if you have a 16 by 10 ratio display, all you do is choose the screen ratio option in the Sense Labs driver, and it automatically sets to 16 by 10. And yes, I know with Wacom, you could choose force proportions if you had a 16 by 9 display. 
but doing that made a certain amount of the tablet area completely unusable because their tablets are made 16 by 10. But force proportions, who the heck came up with that for a name? I'm a bad boy. I'm now using my iPad Pro as a second display and like using a regular additional display it's really simple to set up in the driver. With the options available I can choose to spread the tablet across all displays, a specific display or define a portion of the tablet area to correspond to a certain display. Now these I'm using way more than I thought I would. I've got the buttons and scroll wheel set to specific functions depending on what app I'm using, but I even use it for browsing websites rotating the scroll wheel to move up or down the page I'm looking at. I stopped using the function keys on my Wacom tablet because being left handed I positioned my tablet off to the left, so to use the function keys meant reaching across the front of myself. This is just how I work and always have. Even as a kid at school, being left handed, I would write with my textbooks off to the left and rotated, and several teachers used to tell me off and try to make me write with the book in front of me. But here I am, years later, and still, if I write or use a tablet, it's over to the left. With this setup, I get the best of both worlds tablet on the left and quick keys on the right or in front. Well, it's all about choice and not everybody wants to have a screen or something like a Cintiq. And did Wacom release the Cintiq straight away? Now, there will always be alternative products and cheaper products, and that's great. But let's just compare the price of the Sense Labs bundle to the equivalent Wacom. At the time of recording this, on Amazon, the Sense Labs bundle, which includes the medium tablet, two pens, spare nibs, the quick keys plus other stuff costs £280.49 and this is what the equivalent Wacom would cost. The medium tablet £318.99, a second pen £64.97 and the Wacom remote express keys that don't have a digital display costs £86.68 but to add in the drawing glove, as is included with the Sense Labs, would come to £95.67. So the total for the Wacom, £479.63. Now the Sense Labs bundle includes a carry sleeve, which I didn't add into the Wacom cost. So the Wacom would actually cost around another £20 on top. So £499.63 compared to £280.49. So there you go, that's three months of using the pen tablet bundle from Sense Labs, and also answering some of the questions and comments that came in from the very first video. Now in those comments there were people mentioning other products that they were using, and that's great. One in particular I think was the XP Pen. I've had a look at that, it looks fantastic, and if that's what works for you and it's affordable, then great. You know, ultimately, there will always be other products out there available for us and we'll have our own preferences. But we'll always be the winners because while companies are fighting to be the best and producing this stuff, we're the ones that get to use it. What I'm not doing in this video or the previous video is kind of saying, this is what I choose to use and why you made the wrong decision. Far from it. If you've got something that you love, stick with it. That's what it's all about. But that's all I have for this video, so give us a thumbs up and as always click on the subscribe button because it's just a great free way that you can support this channel. But for now, that's me. I'm done. I'll see you in the next video.